Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the harbour process for the manufacture of ammonia. And if you're a higher tier student you should be able to explain how the conditions for the harbour process are selected to maximise the yield of ammonia. All of this is for triple chemistry students only. So in this video we're looking at how to make ammonia. Ammonia is a really useful chemical and one of the uses of ammonia is to make nitrogen based fertilisers for farming. We're going to be looking at fertilisers in more detail in the next video. Now ammonia is produced by the Haber process and I'm showing you the equation for the Haber process here. As you can see the raw materials for the Haber process are nitrogen and hydrogen. Now in the exam you could be asked to name a source for these raw materials. Nitrogen can be extracted from the air whereas hydrogen can be produced by reacting methane with steam. The purified nitrogen and hydrogen are passed over an iron catalyst at around 450 degrees Celsius and 200 atmospheres pressure. This causes some of the nitrogen and hydrogen molecules to react and that forms ammonia. However, as you can see, this is a reversible reaction. So some of the ammonia breaks back down into nitrogen and hydrogen. To increase the yield, we now cool the ammonia and that turns it into a liquid which is removed. We can then recycle the unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen back over the catalyst. Now, if you're a higher tier student, you need to be able to explain how the conditions for the Haber process are chosen to increase the yield. This involves Le Chatelier's principle, and we saw that in the topic on rates of reaction. I would strongly recommend that you watch those videos again before continuing with this one. Le Chatelier's principle states that if a system's at equilibrium and a change is made to any of the conditions, then the system responds to counteract the change. We can adjust the temperature and the pressure to shift the position of the equilibrium towards the right hand side, in other words, to produce more ammonia. Firstly, in the case of the Haber process, the forward reaction is exothermic. This means that a relatively cool temperature will shift the equilibrium to the right hand side. The problem is that a cool temperature makes the reaction slow. So we've got a trade off between the rate of reaction and the position of the equilibrium. That means that 450 degrees Celsius is a compromised temperature. We get a relatively fast rate and a relatively high yield of ammonia. The iron catalyst also increases the rate of the reaction. Pressure also affects the equilibrium. In the case of the Haber process, a high pressure will push the equilibrium to the right hand side. And we've already looked at the effect of pressure on reversible reactions in the rates of reaction topic. Now in the exam you could be asked to interpret graphs of reaction conditions versus yield of ammonia. I'm showing you a graph of that here. As you can see the percentage of ammonia is highest at a relatively low temperature. However as we said before a low temperature reduces the rate. If we increase the temperature this increases the rate but it lowers the yield. Also high temperatures require more energy. So because of this we use the compromised temperature of 450 degrees Celsius. The percentage of ammonia also increases at very high pressures. However, it's extremely expensive and dangerous working with very high pressures. So we settle on a compromise pressure of 200 atmospheres. Now there is one final point. As we said before, we use an iron catalyst to increase the rate of the reaction. However, you need to remember that the catalyst has got no effect at all on the position of the equilibrium. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the harbour process in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.